uh, a lot easier to imagine creating performance and getting it to work in a car like the TT yes. than a big ass SUV. But it still works. It does. I mean, there's just physics is against it. But I mean, South Africans, we're actually globally, mm -hmm. people are just crazy mad for SUVs at the moment, and they love performance. So, bringing the rent sports versions to all of the SUVs seems to work really well for you guys. It's extremely popular, and there's it's so popular that there's a waiting list. So yeah. Give me your take between the standard RSQ3 and obviously the one that, that we're in with the coupe-like roof lines. If you want a coupe, have a look at the TT. That is a coupe. That is a coupe, but if you want a sexy SUV, yeah. you're going to go for this. What are people buying? RSQ3 Sportback. It looks, really? It looks... They love that sloping roof line. They love the sloping roof line. And it, the boot is still big enough. It's good, eh? What's it? 530 liters, yeah, which is cool. which is really impressive. But you see, this is the thing with people. They buy with their hearts, not with their heads. Because I'm the guy that will say, listen, every time I get into the back of this car, I slap my head on the top. Because you do have to duck your head like a giraffe to get in. Once you're in, great headroom. The headroom's the same. Yes. But it's just getting in because of that sloping roof line. But yeah, you know, people are buying cars on looks. Yeah, but generally, you wouldn't be sitting in the back. I'd be sitting where you are. Yes. Big difference in terms of the TTRS and, and the RSQ3. Now the feel and the drive yeah. is still very different. And the engine is the same. So the yeah. heart of it is unchanged, but how it delivers it is obviously very unique. But it's still impressive to be pushing out uh, the performance figures that it is. It's incredible. 4.5 second more to 100. The guy's going to love that. Uh, 294 kilowatts, 480 newton meters. It's a beast. It's a beast. And you still get to... You can still have your family in the car and have fun. Yeah. You know, you know, and, and, you, and you've got a good looking car, so you're not buying a mommy wagon. You do pay more for the looks of the sport back. Yes. A little, a little bit more. A little bit more, but it's so oh, worth it. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, for me, Mark Licht has really done such a great job in turning around the styling of Audi. I love the way he's gone and flared the flanks on this. And I mean, he's given it what the quattro blisters, they call it. Yes. But it's because it needs bigger wheels, because it's got bigger brakes. So running on 20s is standard. No, 21s. Oh, you're right. 21s. The TTRS is 20s. 20s. Yep. Very cool. You've got all the drive modes as standard on this. Yes. So you've got your drive select, which changes your steering and your gearbox and some other features. Um, so you, you don't have to drive it like a fat out of hell. Like, you, like you've been doing? Like I've been doing today. Speed limit? Totally. <laughs> no, I promise you. <laughs> but um, Would I lie to you? <laughs> no. <laughs> if you're just doing your normal run around town, you can drive it like a sane human being. But when you on the open road, you want to overtake, or you want to have some car therapy, yeah. put it into dynamic, or you've got these personalized RS modes that you can change individually, and you can, you can have so much fun. Audi certainly have come a long way in terms of making sure that the comfort is more comfortable and the performance is more dynamic. Most definitely. It handles like a go-kart when you want it to, yeah. but it's, it's not, you don't have to compromise on comfort. And speaking of comfort, I absolutely love these seats. Oh, yeah. Sporty, bolstered, supporting, but really, really comfortable. And they really finish off the interior. Yeah. The front end, you know, they bring in the honeycomb yes. grill, but then they bring that through into the stitching on the seats as well. Yes. So, you know, that is so quite clearly RS. I mean, if the badging doesn't give it away, it's those yeah. little details as well, you know. And I love the twin pipes at the back visually it really, really does step itself way out of the Q3 box. You can oh, see it's something definitely. special. Yeah, so the integrity of the car is the same. So you can see, oh yes, that's a Q3. And with the RSQ3 Sportback, it's just, it's very mean. Like, people are going to get out of your way. <laughs> uh, uh, that, that front end, the grill is imposing, for sure yes, it is. Yeah. And you've got the little quattro swish across the top, which I love. But then the two air intakes on the side, I mean, they are just massive. And it does, it gives it a really menacing... Uh, bro, and I, I love that things are blacked out now. You know, that for me just adds to the wow factor. Yeah. You know, the days of chrome, thank goodness they're gone. Bling, bling, uh uh. <laughs> it doesn't work for me. You can still have the bling if that's how you want yeah. it. Though.
one option that I absolutely love, um, especially for people who sit in traffic. Not in PE, of course, we don't have traffic. What's that? <laughs> the adaptive cruise control. No. Oh man, you can't live without that. No. And even, even for open road driving, it just makes life so comfortable. But that adaptive cruise control, those sort of safety things will become standard features Actually, standard, on cars down the line. Yeah, yeah. soon, hopefully. Yeah, I hear your argument from a from a safety point of view it makes sense but then again these are cars that you want to drive and I yeah. just find what happens with these safety systems people become less involved in the driving process and they let the car do that whereas everything about an RS is begging to be driven take me you want to drive the bloody thing get on a zone out so scrap it don't make it standard at don't all Audi no no, no no we don't want it no, no. and don't opt for it either drive it <laughs> you need to be watching what you're doing and enjoying the whole experience So there you have it, two RS models that couldn't be more different in application, execution, and obviously very important to target market as well. But undeniably 100% Audi RS. But what is really cool is that Audi Center here in Port Elizabeth is one of just 13 RS dealerships in South Africa. What I love about the whole buying experience is that you know you're getting 100% RS DNA, but how you personalize that experience is where you come in. That's the fun part. So you come and see me. That's not the fun part. No, it is the fun oh. part. <laughs> because I get to make your RS dream come true. It's cool, eh? You order it exactly the way you want, in the color you want, interior you want, wheels you want, everything. Different options, because some options might appeal to you and others not, you know. So you can have it exactly the way you want it. I'll tell you step by step where the car is and when it's on the boat, your baby's on your way, all gift wrapped. Goes on a cruise holiday before you. <laughs> and then you see it, yeah on the showroom floor, ready for you. Love it.